I'm not going to tell you it's going to be easy. I'm not going to tell you that you're going to win every time. But I am going to tell you that with enough perseverance, anything is possible. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. When you set your mind to something, there's no stopping you. This is a mindset that you need to have if you want to be successful. This was something you learned early on in your life. And you're not going to let anyone stop you from achieving your goals. You've faced adversity before, and you've always come out on top. You know that there's no such thing as failure, only lessons learned along the way. You're not going to let this latest obstacle keep you from reaching your ultimate goal. You refuse to quit. Overcome fear and doubt. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. But what happens when the going gets so tough that you don't know if you're going to make it? That's when fear and doubt can start to take over. These are the two biggest enemies of success, and they can stop you in your tracks if you let them. Fear is that little voice in your head that tells you that you're not good enough, that you can't do it, and that you should give up now. Doubt is the feeling that comes along with fear, and it's what makes you second-guess yourself and your ability to succeed. Both of these feelings are normal, everyone experiences them at some point or another. But the difference between those who achieve victory and those who don't is that the successful ones refuse to give up. They push past their fear and doubt and continue moving forward no matter what happens. So if you're feeling scared or doubtful, remember this, you are not alone. And most importantly, refuse to quit. You need to think like a winner. No, scratch that. You need to act like a winner. Winners never give up and never let their down moments define them. In order to act like a winner, you need to have the right mindset. And that's where a growth mindset comes in. With a growth mindset, you believe that you can always get better and that you're never too far behind to make up lost ground. When things don't go your way, it's easy to give up and say, I quit. But that's not what winners do. Winners pick themselves up, dust themselves off and fight back with even more tenacity. They know that the only way to achieve victory is through sheer stubbornness and an unwillingness to give up. The key to achieving victory is to stay focused and motivated. It can be tough to keep going when the going gets tough, but it's essential if you want to reach your goals. Do this. Break it down into smaller goals, breaking down a massive plan into smaller, achievable tasks can make it easier to stay focused and motivated. Concentrate on each task one at a time and celebrate completing each one. Surround yourself with positive people, negative people can quickly kill your enthusiasm, so make sure you have a support system of positive people who will encourage you along the way. Visualize success, picture yourself succeeding and use that vision as inspiration. Visualizing your successes helps give you the momentum to push forward when things get difficult. Celebrate wins, make sure to savor the successes, no matter how small they may seem at first. When you regularly recognize your victories, it keeps up your motivation for future success as well as gives you an emotional boost in the now. Tenacity isn't just a matter of having the right mindset, it's also about living your life in such a way that you never give up. In other words, it's incorporating refusal to quit into your everyday life. Think like Nike and just do it, no matter what obstacles come your way. Don't be afraid to take risks and step outside of your comfort zone. It also helps to keep distractions at bay, so that you can focus on the task at hand without being tempted away from it. Set clear goals for yourself and stay committed to them, and don't be afraid of failure. As Thomas Edison said, I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Make sure you're surrounded by people who will encourage you to keep going, family, friends, coaches, and mentors who lift you up when times get tough. Believe in yourself and believe in those around you who believe in you, you are capable of anything. The biggest challenge that comes with tenacity is knowing when to stop. This is why it's so important to measure your success through meaningful wins. Choose a goal and strive for it, but be flexible enough to accept other forms of success when the desired outcome isn't possible or within reach. It's okay if you don't achieve your original goal but make sure you recognize your progress and successes along the way. Celebrate each milestone, no matter how small. Take a break every now and then to acknowledge the fact that you are making progress and still trying, even if it isn't going as planned. 
This will help you stay motivated and energized as you work toward achieving ultimate victory. Go hard or go home. It's important to remember that you are never truly defeated until you've thrown in the towel. Quitting is easy, but victories are earned through hard work and tenacity. That's why it's important to push yourself and to keep going no matter how hard it gets. You may not be able to see it at the time, but fighting against the odds can develop a sense of determination and resilience within you. With each hurdle, you come out stronger than before, ready to take on the next challenge. Just remember that sometimes you have to go all in order to get what you want. When it feels like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, don't give up, because giving up will guarantee failure. Instead, keep your focus on your goal and take inspired action each day toward achieving it. No matter how hard it might seem, refusing to quit will always guarantee success in the long run. You have to be relentless in your pursuit of victory. No matter what life throws your way, refuse to quit. Persevere and you will be victorious. You're in the office, working on a proposal that's due first thing in the morning. You're neck deep in research, and you've just hit a snag. Your phone rings. It's your colleague, and she needs your help with a project. Do you answer the call? Or do you keep working? In our constantly connected world, it can be tough to find, and maintain, the concentration needed to get things done. But work doesn't always have to be a noisy affair. In fact, sometimes the best way to get things done is to work in silence. We'll give you some tips on how to find your concentration, how to make the most of your quiet time, and how to stay productive when all you want to do is plug in your headphones and tune out the world. There are many benefits to working in silence. When you're able to focus without any distractions, you can get more done in a shorter amount of time. You're also less likely to make mistakes, since you're not multitasking and can pay closer attention to what you're doing. Creating a quiet workspace is easy, all you need is some peace and quiet. If you can't get away from the office, try finding a quiet corner or investing in some noise-canceling headphones. If you work from home, make sure your kids are occupied or put them in another room, and close the door to your office. Hashtag maintaining a quiet workspace is another story. It takes discipline and self-control to stay focused when there are so many distractions around you. But it's worth it because the results will be evident in your work. The benefits of working in silence are manifold. It can help you focus better and concentrate on the task at hand. When you're not distracted by noise, you can really hone in on the work in front of you. It can also help you calm down and de-stress. We all know that working under pressure is never productive, so taking a few minutes to yourself to center yourself and come back to your work with a clear head can make all the difference. And finally, it can help you get in the zone. There's something about silence that just allows your mind to wander and explore possibilities without any external interference. When you're able to focus on your work without any distractions, that's when real creativity and productivity happens. When you're working in silence, you want to find a spot that's comfortable and allows you to focus. Maybe that's your office chair, a spot on the couch, or even your bed. Find what works best for you and stick to it. Block out distractions. This one can be tough, but it's key if you want to stay productive when working in silence. Put your phone on airplane mode, close your email and social media tabs, and turn off any noisy notifications. If you can't physically remove yourself from potential distractions, try using noise-canceling headphones to block them out. Set a time limit. Don't try to work in silence for hours on end, you'll quickly get burnt out. Instead, try setting a time limit, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, and work until you reach that limit. Once you're done, allow yourself a 5 to 10 minute break before starting up again. Hashtag cognitive scientists at the University of Illinois concluded that environmental noise can have detrimental effects on our performance, 
and this was echoed by a study from Cornell University, which found that people who worked in a quiet space demonstrated higher levels of concentration and improved their accuracy when compared to those who worked in louder spaces. But while it is great to turn off distracting sounds and noises, working in complete silence might not be as beneficial, since all distractions are not created equal. A study conducted by the Harvard Business Review found that listening to music can help boost productivity, with participants being able to complete complex tasks faster when listening to music than those who worked in silence. Clearly then, there is no one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to working in silence or with noise. Decide what works best for you, whether it's complete silence or a particular type of music, and the benefits will soon follow. To get the most out of your silent work sessions, it's important to develop the right habits and tools. Start by setting aside a specific area where you can concentrate without being interrupted. This can be an office, a corner of the living room, or even a place outside. Create an analog workspace that's clean and free of any unnecessary clutter. Then stock up on necessary tools like headphones, notebooks, pens, and your favorite coffee mug. This way, you won't have to waste time looking for things when you start working. Also, invest in noise-canceling headphones if you need to block out any external noise while you're working in silence. And if you're having trouble staying focused or keeping track of tasks and ideas you have during your quiet work sessions, Give yourself permission to take mini breaks to make mental notes or write down quick reminders for later. Working in silence doesn't mean you have to go into complete isolation, but it does mean taking steps to ensure you can focus on your task without interruption. Identify distractions. Make a list of all the possible distractions that can disrupt your workflow and be intentional about avoiding them while you work. This includes turning off notifications muting phone calls, and even opting to work in a space where there is less foot traffic. Create boundaries. Make sure to communicate your needs when it comes to quietude with your colleagues and family members. Set clear boundaries regarding when you need peace and quiet so others know when to give you space. Go offline. Take some time away from the internet by going offline for stretches of time during the day. Doing this can help minimize distractions like checking emails or social media notifications that can break concentration if left unchecked. Be consistent. The key to benefiting from working in silence is consistency. As you begin to make silence a part of your work routine, you will find that it becomes easier and more natural over time. Start small by setting aside an hour or two every day to work in total silence. This can be done first thing in the morning or during evening hours and it's easier to concentrate on the task at hand. The idea is to make this part of your daily routine, turn off the phone and TV, close the laptop, and remove any distractions before sitting down to work. Make sure you have all of the resources you need, like pens and paper, before beginning so that you don't need to get up in the middle of your session. By being consistent with this practice, you will start to reap the benefits of working in silence, not only in terms of productivity but also in terms of overall mental health and well-being. In an age where it seems like the louder you are, the more successful you are, it can be difficult to find the power of quietude and concentration. But, working in silence can be incredibly powerful, both for your productivity and your peace of mind. So, if you're looking to get more out of your workday, or to simply find a few minutes of peace in the midst of a chaotic world, try working in silence. It just might be the break you need. Do subscribe for more videos.